I'm here today to show you how you can use a photoresistor in your next linear actuator project. A photoresistor is a resistive element that has its resistance value changed based on the amount of light present in its surrounding environment. The output of the photoresistor can then be used by a microcontroller to make decisions based on the amount of light present in the, in the environment. As you can see, when I cover up the photoresistor, the output value sent to the microcontroller is decreased. And when I shine a light on the photoresistor using a flashlight, the value increases. We can use this output to make decisions on whether or not we need to move our linear actuator. Demonstrate potential use cases uh, where you may consider using a photoresistor to make those decisions. This use case is where I want my linear actuator to react to a certain level of light in the environment. To do this, I've connected the photoresistor following the data sheet for it and connected the output of this photoresistor to the analog in pins of my Arduino. I've also connected the linear actuator to a motor driver board which will be driven by the Arduino. Inside the firmware I simply read the analog value of the photoresistor using an analog read function and compare it to a pre-described light value. Once I have exceeded this pre-described light value I want to extend my linear actuator which you can see here. This use case is particularly useful in applications like, like extending a shade over a light sensitive plant or where you want to automate a canopy over a porch or deck. In the second use case, we're gonna to wanna to utilize our linear actuator to position the photoresistor to either maximize or minimize the amount of light seen by it. Typically in this case, our linear actuator will be moving our photoresistor around to find the maximum light, but we'll be able to demonstrate how you would set this up using our test setup. In this application, you're going to want to make use of a feedback linear actuator, as we're going to need to track the position of the actuator through its entire stroke length. To learn about the different types of options available, as well as how to implement them, you can check out our tutorial page. Once you have implemented your feedback into your design, and written code to handle it inside the Arduino, you can then set up a function to, max, to find the maximum amount of light using the photoresistor. In the function, we want to first extend the linear actuator to its maximum position, then retract it to its minimum position. While the linear actuator moves, we're constantly updating the value from the photoresistor using this analog read function. We're also checking to see if the value is larger than what we previously thought was the largest value sent from the photoresistor. If it is, we then save that value as well as the extension length of the linear actuator. Once we have fully extended and retracted the linear actuator, we can then move to where we have identified as the largest light source. Okay, now I'll give you a quick demonstration of how this works. I'm going to cover the photoresistor while my linear actuator is moving and then releasing it at a certain point. And my linear actuator should move, then move back to that exact position. And that's how it works. This use case is particularly useful in applications like positioning a solar panel, where you're trying to increase the amount of light seen by the panels to maximize energy conversion. While these are basic implementations of controlling a linear actuator with a photoresistor, you can do much more creative things using these use cases as a starting point. And for all those project needs, you can check out Forgelli Auto's wide range of linear actuators and accessories at forgelliauto.com.